Well, it's a game changer for law enforcement. Maryland State Police is now implementing a new virtual simulator system, all designed to help train troopers in decision making during countless scenarios. Well, the agency is one of the first in the state and the region to implement this new system. WJZ is live for us tonight. Amy Kawada spent the day at the training academy, and she's with us now to show us what state police are calling the wave of the future. Amy. Hey, Nicole, Maryland State Police is hoping to pave the path for other surrounding agencies to follow with this new technology. And I had the chance to put on the virtual headset and try it all out for myself. And let me tell you, it truly takes you to a scenario as if you're in real life and trying to de escalate a situation. G10 Westminster, go ahead. It's the future of police training. G10, I need you to respond to the backside of Johansson's bar located on. A decision making simulator system using a virtual reality technology to immerse troopers in interactive real life situations. Drop the knife. Mr. Campbell, drop the knife. Making it the closest an officer can be to actually being out on patrol answering to a call. It really works. It takes everything that you learn in your six months of your academy and it applies it. Your tactics, your officer safety, uh, your verbal judo, if you will, or your de escalation. It's called Apex Officer, a new system being used by Maryland State Police. And this is not a shooting simulator. We're trying to teach de escalation, verbal skills, and to show that if you do what you can do, you, you will limit and may not have to use force in any situation. G10 Westminster, right at the scene. How you doing, sir? Crow Park, Savannah State Police. What are you doing Drop here? Weapon, what are you sir? doing Drop here? The what the hell Drop are you doing weapon. here? Drop the weapon, sir. And unlike any other training tool used before, where an operator on the other end virtually places you in a scenario and is able to manipulate and control what the suspect is doing based on the trooper's action. Go ahead, get your knees for me, sir. Countless scenarios that can be played out, ranging from traffic stops to life-threatening standoffs, something troopers are faced with on a day to day basis. It's an excellent opportunity to bolster our training curriculum with this. Drop the knife, sir. Drop the knife. It's individualized hands on training like this, troopers say, is key to providing multiple perspectives on critical decision making situations they might not otherwise All right. experience. And scene, and scene. Suspects in custody were direct. And another advantage of this training system is that it's not only used to train the new class of recruits, but seasoned troopers can also stop by at any time, put on the headset to brush up on their skills. Live in Sykesville, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.